Hello and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner. Uh, this poem is called Annunciation. It's about the Annunciation of when the angel Gabriel uh, came to Mary and it has been depicted in many beautiful paintings down through the years and it sort of starts almost as a painting but moves on to all of us perhaps. And this is called Annunciation by Denise Levatov. We know the scene, the room variously furnished, almost always a lectern, a book, always a tall lily. Arrived on solemn, solemn grandeur of great wings, the angelic ambassador, standing or hovering, whom she acknowledges, a guest. But we are told of meek obedience. No one mentions courage. The engendering spirit did not enter her without consent. God waited. She was free to accept or to refuse. Choice, integral to humanness. Aren't there annunciations of one sort or another in most lives? Some unwillingly undertake great destinies, enact them in sullen pride uncomprehending. More often, those moments when roads of light and storm open from darkness in a man or woman are turned away from, in dread, in a wave of weakness, in despair and with relief. Ordinary lives continue. God does not smite them, but the gates close. The pathway vanishes. She had been a child who played, ate, slept like any other child, but unlike others, wept only for pity, laughed in joy, not triumph. Compassion and intelligence fused in her, indivisible. Called to a destiny more momentous than any in all of time. She did not quail, only asked a simple, how can this be? And gravely, courteously, took to heart the angel's reply, perceiving instantly the astounding ministry she was offered, to bear in her womb infinite weight and lightness, to carry in hidden finite inwardness, nine months of eternity, to contain in slender vase of being the sum of power, in narrow flesh the sum of light, then bring to birth, push out into air a man-child, needing, like any other, milk and love. But who was God? This was a moment no one speaks of, when she could still refuse, a breath unbreathed, spirit suspended, waiting. She did not cry, I cannot, I am not worthy, nor I have not the strength. She did not submit with gritted teeth, raging, coerced. Bravest of all humans, consent illumined her. The room filled with its light, the lily glowed in it, and the iridescent wings Consent, courage unparalleled, opened her utterly. Thank you. Four more poems read by me. Look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube. You can subscribe as well. Thank you.